is a uh, very sunny day, but very cool here in Provo. Doug Miller, he'll be walking the sidelines today. And Doug, this place got a couple inches of snow last night. Yeah, they had the field covered until just before the game. Uh, they swept the snow off. Field's in great condition. One thing that will not be a factor today is the field. You can hear that again. We're underway. Hortonson at his own seven-yard line. Fumbles the football. Still on the ground. It's loose at the 20-yard line. And the Utes say they have it, and they do. Utah on the turnover. So the Utes start up on their own at the Cougar 20-yard line at quarterback and across the middle. Touchdown, Rowley from Richmond. Detmer second down. A loss of one on that draw to Tui Pelotu. Detmer under pressure, intercepted at the 20-yard line. That ball picked off by number 42. 14. Richmond back in the shotgun. The Cougars chasing, and Richmond loses the football, and he's pulled down by Greg Pitts, the freshman. 18-yard line, a 28-yard try, a good snap, and Jurgensen boots it through, and the Utes have built a 10-point lead. And he drops the ball inside the five. Mortensen lets it go, picks it up at the six. And the Cougars are going to be deep in their own territory to start this drive. Triple wide out to the right side. The lone back is Tui Pelotu. Detmer on the roll. Feels pressure, and he's going to be tackled out of bounds at the two-yard line. The 15 QB sacks. Sure, you're going to take a look at him more than once. Detmer buying some time. Rolls out of the end zone. Got a man open. Drage at the 40. He may go. 40, 30. 20. Touchdown, Drage, but a flag down back in the end zone. They're going to call roughing the passer on Utah, so if that stands, and it does, a 98-yard touchdown from Ty Detmer to Eric Drage. And the ball taken by Shaver, and he's got to run it out. Now, see, what happened? He caught that ball, I believe, a yard in front of the goal line. But now they say touchback. The, okay. the ruling on that is, Craig, if the momentum of the football carries you into the end zone, um, you, you will be considered touchback if you don't bring it out. So it was a wide decision. We're taking a look at that touchdown, and that's almost impossible to cover if you're a defensive back. And, and Lawson was back there trying to make that coverage. If when the ball is midway there, your receiver is still on a post, all of a sudden turns around and the ball is there, you're just pretty much helpless man-to-man -man out there if the throw is that perfect. After this replay, Lavelle Edwards is on the football field along with oh. Tom Ramage. Now there you see on that replay what happened. He came out, Vernon Shaver, stepped the foot out to the one-yard line and then backed in. That is a safety if they call it right, but what they're going to do is they're going to mark it out and say that his forward progress on the catch was out there to the one-yard line. Yard per average kick, and he turns it over. Brad Clark watches it bounce. It takes a huge hop, and Clark at the 45 and tackled out of bounds at the 43. So BYU will start up with good... LeVon Edwards and Shavers. Little delayed draw. Jamal Willis hops and skips down to the 35-yard line. Steps back in the shotgun for the first time today. The quick flip. The slant pattern to Matsuzaki, and he's near a first down at the 20-yard line. Gun, and he just throws that slant underneath. Off the right side goes Peter Tui Pelotu. The breakaway style. Matsuzaki in the slot to the right on third down. Detmer in the pocket, under pressure, skips out of a tackle, pumps once, he's going to run it. The 10, the 5, cuts it inside, touchdown! Detmer runs it in! Going for the deep ball, Rowley at the 50! Rowley at the 10, 5, and touchdown Utah! Drage in motion. Jamal Willis off the left side, finds a hole, and rumbles up past the 30. 17-14, Utah with the lead. Richmond, the quick hitter across the middle. And Abrams, still on his feet, 
and fights his way up to the 40. Second down, Richmond with a quick drop and the quick flip. What a catch by Abram. Took it right off his hip. It's all about down there in the trenches. A first down. Charlie Brown trying to get outside, or that's Keith Williams and Dewey Gray. 48-yard line. Play action, and oh, the blitz came. Giles buried Richmond back at the 41. He's the sack leader on this team, his eighth. A quick flip outside to Vernon Shaver. Four and three in the conference. The season finale, regular season finale for both teams. Jamal Willis. Breaks it off the left to the right side. Second down at the 22. Detmer, who is tied in. Rex spins out of a move and picks up the first down. Bench Mike, though. <laughs> Terrifying golf itself. That, it? that does terrify me. Detmer in the pocket across the middle. Peter Tui Pelotu at the 50 and stumbles up to the 39-yard line. 20 per game. Detmer with the quick drop and the quick flip and the catch made by Drage. He's offended near the first down mark. Downs, the Swanson knocked him out. Third down. Utes coming hard. Flags are down. Detmer fires a dart. Touchdown to Matsuzaki. Good snap, a good hold. And the ball blocked, picked up. And the Utes take it back and ran out of bounds near the 40-yard line. A loss of two on the play. Second down, Richmond in the pocket, throws it out to Abrams. Does a U-turn and tackled L. Edwards' lips, and he saw him, looked like he was saying, Tony, Tony, so. Picked off Gomes! Oh, the big fella! Pulled it down at the 45. First down for Brigham Young. Hands up. When you're not in on the quarterback, they teach you get those hands up. That hit him right in the center of the chest. All Combs had to do was gather that one in deeper than that receiver, and that's what Swanson did on that one. Well, Toyota is helping bring you today's football game. I love what you do for me, Toyota. Detmer, oh, like a hot potato. Gathers it back in, throws it downfield. The catch made by Peter Tui Pelotu. What you don't think you can ever see again, he pulls something like this. I mean, a left-handed throw we've seen. We've seen him rolling one way and throwing it behind his back. This time, the old fake fumble hot potato trick still has the vision to pick up Tui Pelotu and get the ball upfield. Second down, nine. A high snap. The Utes in the blitz, and the circus catch by Drage. Touchdown. Here's a look at that touchdown again. Watch the pressure that Detmer throws this under. He's got guys hanging all over him, in particular Luther Ellis hanging on his back. But he knows all he has to do is get it in the general vicinity of Drage, and he'll have a shot. The one interception by Gomes. Play action on first down. Beagle coming in hard. Abrams makes the catch. Stiffs arms his way up near the 29-yard line. He looks like a bodybuilder. He benches over 400. Richmond slings it out. Josh Arnold on coverage. Let's Charlie Brown go. Richmond on the rollout. He's got a man, Rowley, and he skips out of back. Abrams a slot back, and here comes the rush and the sack. Beagle and Hanson to play in the first half. Second down, 18. Shaver. Stop by. The slot back is Hoffman on third down. Oh, what a tackle by Kennard at the here. Since Moses. Yeah. <laughs> to give you a clue, he was my roommate in Hawaii in 85. The quick oh. flip and nearly picked off, is it? Yes, it is. It was tipped by Peter T. <laughs> Double slot to the right for Utah. Richmond guns it downfield. Rolly in traffic. Picked off by Josh Arnold. Oh, what a seesaw battle. On second down, flags are down. Detmer stands in that pocket, dancing around. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. Giles comes on the blitz. Richmond, the quick flip, and Shavers makes the catch at the 45-yard line. 23 ticks left, second down, 10. Richmond flips it out to Williams. 
interception this season. On third down, the blitz is on, and Gomes picks it up for the second time today. Let's take a look at it. He's just playing straight up nose. They're running a little cross there between he and Pitts, and it hits the back of a youth player, and Gomes has another gift there. I'll tell you what, they're grooming Gomes for wide receiver. <laughs> and I mean wide. That ball hit uh, the left guard. 13.09 in the third quarter, and the pitch goes to Jamal Willis. The reverse to Tyler Anderson. Ty Detmer out there leading the way. Anderson at the 30, the 20, the 5, 10, and knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. But not before Anderson gets a big chunk of yardage. They mark it down on the five-yard line. Jamal Willis on the sweep. Stiffs arms his way in for six. It's a quarterback for Utah. Hands it up the middle. And the football around the field, and that's what they'll need here in the second half. On first down, a little counter trap. Abrams runs like a tank. Crutchfield, he carries seven youths, 20 yards down to the 32. By Lenny Gomes, led to a five-yard touchdown run by Willis. And the Cougars now lead at 34-17. Across the middle, Woods picked off for Rocky Beagle. And the linebacker still on his feet and knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Play action, Ty Detmer, the quick flip, the catch made. Drage stops on a dime, still on his feet, spins out of a tackle, hits his own man. Oh, what a collision. 185, that's a 100-pound difference right there. On first down, Ty stands in the pocket, fires a strike, and Nowatsky on that running back on the backfield. Third down. Detmer with a quick flip to Jamal Willis. He's got blockers out in front. Willis gives a push, and he rolls past the 20 down to the 19. Uh, perhaps uh, the guy that Rocky Beagle hits is uh, wearing one of those also today. Well, he may be. <laughs> All right, Greg. Technology has come a long way. Second down, the quick flip to Williams. And he is tackled down by Beagle from B, but not Keith Williams' type of speed. A good play choice by Utah. Boy, quick hitter up the middle, Lloyd Rokini. Jason Woods under the center. Woods with a quick flip outside, and Charlie Brown rumbles down in the ace as the Utes uh, make their move downfield. Woods with a quick flip out to Sean Williams. Got some running room at the 30 and knocked out of bounds at the 26. Thanks to the fans. <laughs> Thank you all. That says it all. Jason Woods in trouble, and down he goes at the 25-yard line in the middle of the field. A high snap, a good hold, and Jurgensen with the knuckleball just wide to the left. You know, the players have done, the owners the same way. Uh, they're, they're trying to run a business uh, the best they can. As we watch Detmer flip it out to Peter Tui Pelotu. That DeLaw delayed trap to Peter T down near the 50-yard line. A pickup of 12. Detmer with that seven-step drop. Got a man across the middle. is tight end, Byron Rex, and he rumbles inside the 30 to the top. Debra in the pocket, going for the home run ball. Drage comes back. I believe the ball bounced. Touchdown, no, Drage. But the Cougars are uh, indicating touchdown. You see, again, Detmer in the face of a big rush. Let's take a look at it. No. That ball bounced. In between the two arms. Now, if this is the NFL, Craig. We just <laughs> overturned it for we him. We overturned it for him, but this is college football, and Drage came back and made it look good enough to get the reception. There is no review in college football, so that one will stand. But you're right, Craig, that bounced in between his arms. I think Ron McBride saw that plain and clear. On first down, up the middle. A crucial series here for Utah. Back to the ground, a nice opening off the right side, and Keith Williams stumbles up near the 40-yard area. I mean, we talked about Jamal Willis and Dickerson. Dickerson, by the way, wears 29. Back to the ground, and boy, right now, Keith Williams has taken the coup. Rod McBride's emphasis on defense, and McMackett's uh, organization of a great defensive scheme has made the Utah team the league leader in pass. Inside the 30. 
Back to the ground. Williams fumbles the football. BYU on it. Gives BYU a first down at their own 35. Detmer fakes the play action. He's in trouble. Spins out of a tackle. Flips it back to Jamal Willis. A lot of room at the 40. At midfield at the 50. Makes a nifty move and still on his feet and tackle down at the 40. First and 10 at the 46. Detmer out of the shotgun. Stands in the pocket. Drage makes the turn. Makes the catch. Stops on a dime. Makes change. And oh, he took a shot. Todd Lawson hit him right in the numbers, and he put him flat on his back. He's an attendance record here at Cougar Stadium. Detmer on the rollout. Good protection. Good coverage downfield. Now Ty has to scramble. Sidearms it to Byron Rex, and he's hit up high and leveled at the 25-yard line. It's like an assembly line. They just keep pumping out those receivers and doing a good job. Detmer got a man. Anderson, touchdown. in for 28 Woods nearly picked off by Arnold and now did I don't know if it hit the ground it's gone Arnold it's a live ball uh, nope Arnold may have got the pick but he was on the ground when he had it they'll rule the ball dead at that point again because he did not catch it cleanly I didn't know if he ever touched the ground what happened, it went up, and it off kicked his off foot. his ankle, and then he caught the ball. Amazing. <laughs> and this is his career passing efficiency, Blaine, 162.7. So Brian May walks off the football field his final time. Ty Detmer will do so in a short time. gets a standing ovation. This young man has done so many things here at Brigham Young. His final, his final game at Cougar Stadium. Standing ovation. Even many of the youth fans there in the north end zone are standing for Ty Detmer. And with this game, Ty Demmer also goes over 4,000 yards for the season. The only player in NCAA history to throw two seasons of over 4,000 yards. And now the uh, future, I guess, belongs to this young man, John Walsh, freshman out of Torrance, California. Peter T stays on the ground, and he just keeps... Keep those legs running up to the 24-yard line for 26 in the backfield. Atuaya off the right side. Flags are down. Face pass. Still be in contention for that copper ball berth. Walsh in trouble, and he's going to go down. And the youth, the end zone at the 20-yard line. Play action. Heavy pressure, and down goes Walsh again. Welcome to the WAC Conference. Walsh in the shotgun, a high snap. He fumbles the football, and he did the smart, the smart thing. Line and uh, yeah, their entire offensive line will be back next year. The Cougars are looking at a rebuilding scheme of things. But you know, with you, with I mean, that's a tough role to play. Joe skips out of uh, trouble, launches a ball downfield, got a man and. Picked off Utah with the interception. Well, for each BYU football game this season, Geneva Steele has asked the KSL sports team to select the outstanding player of the game and name him Geneva Steele, man of the game. Well, I tell you, down for Utah it's like a clean line. sweep. Four weeks in a row, that young man is Ty Detmer. He bypassed the 15,000 career passing yard mark today. Ended up with nearly 400 yards passing, five touchdown throws. He ran one in. Ty Detmer, the Geneva Steel man of the game. But sure is credit faster or quicker than Detmer. Jason Woods, and he'll go underneath. Coming in there were a try that I think is where he wanted to be this year and will continue to improve. Brad Clark takes it in the shadows at the 17, still on his feet. This young guy never quits at the 25-30, 35-40. And 
he stumbles out of bounds. We'll mark him out. And there are still some who are yet decided if they're going to commit to Brigham Young or not. Zatuaya breaks it off the left side at the 30, and he's uh, tackled out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Ten seconds left, the final play of the game. Smith will carry it. And he's tackled down and stopped at near the 19-yard line. And that's it. The Cougars and Youth, the 67th meeting between these two teams. Lavelle Edwards walks across the field to find Ron McBride. In the first half, really a dandy. The Cougars dominated in the third quarter to pull away, and they win a trip to the Holiday Bowl. 48-17 the final here in Provo. We'll come back. Pre-game show to follow. We'll be back.